Thanks for watching. If this video helps you out, be sure to give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Hi there, Grim Repair here. Today I'm going to go over what I did to get the emergency brakes to work on my 67 Mustang when I switched over to rear discs from a 95 to 2000 s Ford Explorer. Uh, here's the factory brake line from the 67. This went in and hooked onto the lever that actuated the, the drums, the, sh the drums that actuated the shoes. And on the discs, the end has to look like this and it has to hook on to a drum that's inside of this this rotor here. Uh, I'm gonna go under on the other side, show you what I did on the other side, and then I'll show you how I did it on this side. All right, so here's the back of these brakes, and that's how it hooks on there, and it comes. Got uh, brake cable from the auto parts store for a 95 Ford Explorer. This this is for the 95. This piece that goes into here is from the 67. I cut it off of the 67 brake cable and took the the uh, housing out of it, the conduit out of it, and slid the the 95's conduit into it. And then I went to Ace Hardware and I got some of these uh, cable copplers. You slide them in and then you bang on them with a hammer. I got one here and one up here. I pulled the cable from the vehicle tight, measured everything out, cut, cut the uh, 95 cable to where I needed it cut the 67 to where I needed it and you want to you want to loosen this adjustment almost all the way off so that you can always tighten it back up in case you didn't get it tight enough you can you can tighten it here and it'll it'll still work well all right so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to Put this eye onto that lever there. Put the spring in between that and the bracket. And I'm going to slide the cable into the bracket. There we go. And I'm going to start to route it over to where the factory one was routed. And you need to know how far your wheel comes in. You don't want your wheel rubbing on it. It's gonna, you're gonna have to bend it out a little bit. All right, so I'm under the car now, and I know I wanna bend it a little bit to get around the wheel. It's a little, my wheel's a little li wider than factory. And you wanna put, put the conduit here with the edge of this bracket. And I'm going to pinch it just to put a mark where I want to cut it. All right. Going to slide that out. I'm going to cut this here as far back as I can for now. Device here, we can get a good straight cut. Oh, get off any rough edges there. this end onto it. Not 
that little vice, cut it. Throw it away. All right, now this steel conduit here kind of spirals it into this, um, not really collar, I guess you'd call it. So you want to cut it along the spiral so you can kind of twist it out and pull it out of there. So that's what we're going to do here. Gonna take a pair of pliers and hopefully we can twist it out of there. And there we go. Looks like it's coming out. Oh, that broke. Guess we're digging it out the hard way. Cut that off. Got a Dremel with a cutting bit on it. Let's see if I can cut a little slit and do it. Make it come out easier. Looks like we're getting somewhere. Starting to flip in there. Just pulling some of it out now. <clears throat> there we go. And it's out. So now you're gonna take this, this end and push and twist it. Might have to remove this rubber coating. Push and twist. All right, now we're going to 
and squeeze it. Don't want to go too hard because you still want the cable to slide in there, but if you can crimp it together, that'd be good. On there so this is your finished product now so you're gonna slide the cable back into the conduit hook it back to the car <clears throat> sliding our new brake cable in hook it on there See that or not. That clip is determined to be lost. Pop the clip back in there. tightly and I got some fraying here on this fact the original cable so I'm going to try and cut up above it you want to pay attention to where you put those couplings you don't want to like for example you don't want to put one right here because when the cable gets pulled it's gonna pull the coupling and it will get jammed on this uh, hook here. So just pay attention to where you're putting your couplings. Okay, so I... So I'm gonna make sure I got enough cable here to in fact Cut beyond this and I, I do I have plenty probably end up cutting some off of that want to get it run the way that it was you're not on top of anything making it seem like it needs to be longer than it does I'm gonna slide a coupling on I'm gonna cut this because I can't get a coupling over that frayed stuff
deburring the end there so this will slide on easier all right put it back on that hook slide them into each other here there we go I'm gonna make sure like make sure we're not hooked on anything like right here we're hooked on all this and that'll give you an inaccurate length all right so now I'm pulling the front back and pulling the back to the front Making it as tight as I can with my hands, and we can always tighten it up with that adjustment because it's we we got it all the way loose right now. All right, and then I take the welding clamp. And clamp them together so they don't move. And then I'm going to have to probably remove it from the car so I can pound these couplings flat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. By removing this bolt here and this adjustment. And it is a half inch. Spring out so we can get it loose. Unhook it here. I'm just gonna slide it out so we can get to it. All right, we got it out where we can work on it. And take the hammer. I usually just give it three good whacks. Mm, let me give it one more. There we go. Now I can pop this off and slide that up a little more right there. Gonna give it some what? Gonna flatten it out with the hammer now. I've made security cables and stuff out of this and I don't think it's going anywhere. Thanks for watching.